Hey, welcome to Online for Love, your resource for online dating by the numbers. I'm Amy, your online dating expert. I've been reviewing and comparing dating sites for the past five years, and today we're going to be reviewing Bumble. So Bumble. Bumble is one of the most unique online dating sites out there. It's actually known to be very pro-women as women have the choice when it comes to this site, but we'll get into the details. But Bumble is a real different one out there to try out if you haven't already. If you are sick of the rules and men always have to make the first move, then this might be the perfect site for you. But uh, yeah, let's get into this Bumble review. I'm actually going to break it down into a few sections to make this easier. I'm going to give some info about Bumble. We're going to talk about how it works, its features, its sign-up process, some tips and tricks, some pros and cons, its demographics, its pricing, success rate, and its overall rating. Before we dive further in though, are you actually sure that Bumble is the right dating site for you? You should definitely take our online dating quiz to find out which dating site is perfect for you. It's a free quiz for men and women. All you have to do is click the link in the description, take the quiz, and come on back here. So let's talk about Bumble. Bumble was created in 2014. It's got about 15 million members, and there have been about three billion messages sent so far on the app. Bumble is very popular and known because of its unique way of working. So it's women first. So basically that means that on the app, women can only message first. Men cannot message women unless the woman has already messaged them. So it's very empowering and it's a very unique spin on how the whole dating sphere online has worked for so long. It's actually about time that we finally have something like this. Bumble is a forward-thinking online dating app which wants to put women first and to get a really good dating experience for them and men as well, but they feel like the sphere has been dominated by men-driven apps for too long and it's time to switch things up. What's also really unique about Bumble is it's not just for dating. There's actually three sections that you could choose to use. So there's Bumble Date, Bumble Biz, and Bumble BFFs. So you can find business partners or you can find best friends. So those are some really unique features that that are very specific to Bumble itself. So that's kind of the basics of Bumble. Now let's get into how it works. So Bumble does sort of resemble Tinder in the way that it has a swiping feature. You see people's profiles and you can swipe if you like them or you don't like them. Their profiles just show a little basic info. And then from that in the pictures you see, you can decide whether or not you want to go um, further with them and chat with them eventually. So women make the first move. Women must message the man first, otherwise there will be no communication. And actually, if men, if women likes a man on the app and she does not initiate conversation, uh, she actually only has 24 hours before her chance goes away to initiate a conversation. Men are not completely powerless, though they do have one chance per day to extend the 24-hour period so that women might have more time to actually message them. When you first enter the site, you'll be using its free version, but you can choose to upgrade um, by using something called Bumble Boost. Bumble Boost is Bumble's premium membership where you get extra perks and features. If you're not looking for dates, but rather for friends, there is the option to go over to Bumble BFF, where you can match with people to make friendship connections. Bumble Biz is a place where you can go to actually find business connections to find business partners or get um, information about different fields, talk to people on a business level. It can be described as like a dating app version of LinkedIn, basically. Bumble also has a section called the Beehive with resources for online dating, including some short videos and articles, all to help your online dating experience. We at Online for Love actually have our own resources for online dating, one of which being our free online dating profile guides for men and women. These are awesome guides which will help you to make a perfect online dating profile. It's free to check out, so just click the link in the description and it'll bring you right there. Now let's talk about the features of Bumble. Women are the only ones who can make the first step by starting a conversation. Profiles are very easy to set up. The registration process is very quick and done by using your Facebook account. There is a large user base and numerous active members. There is a short 24-hour period that forces women to deepen the contact from just a match to a conversation. It is a fun and simple interface. Premium features that offer additional options compared to the free version. Bumble offers different sections where you can meet friends or business partners, and you can even connect to your Instagram account and show yourself in even better light. If you're enjoying this video so far, we'd really appreciate it if you could give us a big thumbs up. So giving a thumbs up on this video helps us out so much because YouTube then pushes it out to more people because it's seen as more valuable because it's got a lot of thumbs up and likes. So definitely 
definitely please just hit the like button and we'll be so grateful. Now let's talk about the sign-up process. Bumble sign-up process is very quick and easy, especially because you're connected to your Facebook account most of the time, so it'll already import your name, age, and some basic info just from your Facebook. After that, you can add up to six photographs and talk about your lifestyle and some things about yourself. Besides connecting your Facebook account, you can also choose to connect your Instagram, but just be warned that Bumble uses the last 24 photos from your Instagram, so if you don't like some of them or you'd rather choose some others, um, just know that's how it is. So if your Instagram photos aren't something you want to show on your um, dating app, on your dating profile rather, um, maybe you have some you don't want there, then either delete them off your Instagram or just don't like, don't link your Instagram. You can add about 300 characters worth of info in your about me section and maybe that seems long or hard to do but actually if you just take the time to write it out it's just a few sentences and it'll really help you to get bigger matches bigger matches more matches now let's talk about the tips and tricks that will help you and bumble the number one is to have good photos so your photos need to be up to date good quality and show who you really are hopefully it'll show you doing some of your hobbies or you know you doing things that you're interested in or shows off your personality people want to see what you look like and they want to see your your authentic self Honestly, photos can make or break an online dating profile. People want to know who they're talking to. They want to know what you look like. If you don't have photos or you have like a blurry photo from, you know, however long ago, it's not a good look. You really want to show yourself who you are, be confident and post some really good photos. Our second tip is to really think about your bio and write a good one. So you want to actually think about what you're writing. You don't have to write your whole life story or an essay or something, but you want to, you know, make a short and sweet, give a little info about yourself, show your personality, get creative with it, um, you know, talk about your major likes and dislikes, what you're looking for. Just give some info about you. People want to have a taste of who you are. And you know, if you come across as you really are, that can attract so many more people. Be your authentic self because somebody might see your profile and, you know, read that one thing about you that just really stands out to them. And then you start chatting and that could be the one. But if you, you know, try to be someone you're not or you're just too quiet on your profile, there's not enough there, it's hard to make appropriate matches. Another tip for Bumble is you can actually backtrack your swipes three times a day. So if you accidentally like somebody who you didn't want to, um, you can backtrack just three times though. Another tip for Bumble is that you can actually choose to continue your connection with somebody past 24 hours for another 24 hours if you do have a connection with them. This is similar to the super like feature on Tinder. There are actually statistics for the best time to message somebody and the worst time to do it is actually on a Friday. Continuing with that research, actually the best time to message somebody is from between 8 to 10 p.m. and the worst time is 4 a.m. You should definitely take advantage of Bumble's search features if you want to find somebody with a specific height or search an interest or something specific about them, use the search features on Bumble that will really help you out. Now let's move on to the pros and cons of Bumble. So the pros are that women are finally in control and they have a real say over who's going to talk to them and what conversations they're going to have. The second pro is that Bumble is equal parts dating app, friend finder, and sort of a LinkedIn type of app. It's very quick and easy to set up your account since it only requires six photos and a bio of 300 words. Piece of cake. Men no longer have to worry about being the pursuer. They can be pursued, they can sit back and let the matches come to them rather than the other way around. The premium features of Bumble are very affordable and there's a lot of free features as well. Some cons are, you know, some men find it a con that they can't send the message first. Some people find this very frustrating. Another con for men is that you might get matched to a woman, but maybe she's distracted or busy and if she doesn't contact you within 24 hours, then your match is gone. Even though there are search criteria to narrow down your searches, it's not very specific. Now let's talk about the demographics of Bumble. There's almost the same number of male and female female users 50-50, which is quite surprising given the fact that it's very female-based. 72% of Bumble users are under the age of 35. This is how the Bumble population is distributed in the US. There's 31% from the West, 26% from the Midwest, 17% from the South, and 26 from the Northeast. More than 91% of users who are above 22 years old hold a bachelor's degree. There are around 500,000 active users every month. Bumble is available in 150 countries. Women have initiated contact more than 650 million times. 
There are around 3 million Bumble BFF users. So let's move on to the pricing of Bumble. So Bumble is free, but if you want to experience their premium features, you will need to pay a premium price. Some of those premium features include being able to see lists of people who have already liked you, which will save you time and who you swipe right or left on. Um, and you can also actually extend your match period from beyond 24 hours. Also, you can reconnect with a connection that was lost before instead of losing it forever. Bumble's premium membership is called Bumble Boost and the prices for it goes as follows. For a one week subscription, it'll cost you $10.99. For a one month subscription, it'll cost you $24.99. For a three month subscription, it'll cost you $54.99. And for a lifetime membership, it'll cost you $149.99. Bumble also has in-app currency called Bumble Coins, for which it also has separate payment plans. For five coins, it's $9.99. For 15, it's $24.99, and for 30, it's $39.99. So it's important to note that these prices are only accurate at the time of filming this video. If you want the most up-to-date and accurate pricing, definitely go to this article because this video is actually an article form on Online for Love. So just click the link in the description and it'll take you right to the article to get the most up-to-date info. Now let's talk about the success rate of Bumble. Bumble is extremely successful. It's it made itself a staple dating site for so many people. It's up there with the top dating sites of all time. It's got lots of active users, real profiles, real connections, and real successes. Bumble's actually responsible for over 5,000 um, marriages and engagements and growing and growing all the time. There's lots of success stories for Bumble online, on YouTube, on its reviews, everywhere. Bumble has cemented itself as a staple online dating site and your chances of success are very high. Are you guaranteed success? No, you're never guaranteed success on any dating site, but if you're gonna choose one to try out, this is one of the top contenders for sure, and I can highly recommend it. Finally, let's go over our overall rating for Bumble. Overall, Bumble is a fantastic site to check out. It's really great for women and for everybody, I have to say. So I really recommend Bumble. It's one of the best ones, and yeah, hope you really enjoy this Bumble review. That is our breakdown of Bumble. Bumble is one of the most unique sites out there. It's really great for women, and it is one of the top sites at this point. It is very popular, and so many people know of and use Bumble. Have you ever tried Bumble? What's your opinion on the women being the only one who can message first? I'm really curious to hear, so definitely comment your opinion there. And uh, yeah, that's it. I hope you liked this video. Please give it a like if you liked it and subscribe if you loved it. And hopefully we'll see you here again on Online for Love. Thanks, bye.